Hello again ladies and gentlemen, Joe Barnes here and I'm very excited because now we get to the real bones of what we're here for, how to actually create a page, yippee! So, sorry, how to customise a page, yippee! Okay, this is where it gets really exciting because we get to do loads of funky cool stuff. So, let's start at the very beginning, a very good place to start and let's number one add an image. This is where you are, you're at your get started page, you've just called your page whatever you wanted to call it, you've clicked yes, you've, you've checked the Facebook terms, I didn't mention that in the last video, do make sure you have a quick read of the Facebook terms and conditions so you do know exactly what they expect of you. And then here we are, upload an image, so that's the first thing we're going to do. I'm going to click on here and I'm going to browse an image from my computer. Now, I have to tell you that there are rumours that the uh, the um, uh, recent Facebook changes has changed the size of this picture from once was 600 pixels by 200 pixels to I think it's 180 pixels by 540 or something like that. I, however, am uploading an image which is 600 pixels by 200 pixels and I am guessing that it's going to work absolutely fine. So this is 600 pixels by 200 pixels, this picture. And what we need to do is see if that's going to fit and I think that fits perfectly. All right, so when you're getting your avatar done or designed or however you're doing it, um, then you need to stick within the confines of 600 by 200. If you find that uh, the 600 by 200 doesn't work for any reason, then you may just need to trim it or crop it a little bit. Now, designing images and avatars and things like that is a completely separate subject. And just so you know, I am working at the moment on uh, learning a little bit of Photoshop and things like that. Um, so... Um, here, the Social Networking Academy at some point in the future, um, how to design your graphics and things like that will be loaded onto this actual site. So look out for that in the future. All right, so we have, in the meantime, you can go to somewhere like fiverr.com or something like that and get one built for you, okay? So here we have an image, all right? So that's number one. Number two, you can now go and invite your friends, but I actually wouldn't do that yet. OK, um, and it's telling you as well here, you can tell your fans these two bits here really are kind of starting to market your page. And really, we want to get your page ready before we get out there and start marketing it. OK, now post status updates. This is definitely something we want to do. We want to head over to our wall and we want to start loading lots of content onto our page. OK. But again, we'll come back to that. Promote this page, that's another advertising one, and set up your mobile phone. If you want to um, be able to upload photos or post status updates or whatever um, via your mobile phone, either through email or text messages, so you can go and set that up, okay? So they're all the different sort of customization things. Now, what I actually want to do is I want to go straight over to edit page, okay? We've uploaded our image. And before I do anything else, because I don't want to market it or anything yet, I want to go over to edit page, which is up here. So I'm going to click on edit page and we are in the next videos. We're going to start to go through all of these. OK, so before we go there, I just want to come back to our profile picture before we do. Now, I just want to spend a couple of seconds talking to you about this. All right. This is just um, at the moment. This is just a sort of a template, uh, um, a example. Um, and this banner is actually going to be worked upon. And uh, what I want on this banner, it, what's missing at the moment on this banner is a very clear call to action. There is nothing on it that tells people what I want them to do. Yeah. And that's because nothing is really set up yet. When you start thinking about your photo, your avatar, your profile picture, whatever it is you want to call it, you want something that is going to grab people. You want something that, that looks good, that when people see it, they're going to be attracted to it. They want to come and have a look. And then on your avatar, you want a really, really nice, clear call to action. So in other words, what do you want people to do? Do you want them simply to read the content on your wall? Do you want them to go to your welcome page um, and click on your welcome page and get their free goodies? Do you want them to leave their details? You know, what, what is it that you really want people to do? So you need a nice, clear call to action on your avatar. Let me give you an example of another one of ours, the greatest Facebook show on earth, okay? 
Here you can see, please click the welcome tab for all event details and then we've circled the welcome tab here. Now, funnily enough, of course, Facebook have just changed the whole layout. So this whole um, graphic here, of course, doesn't make any sense anymore because the tabs aren't at the top anymore for those of you who um, remember the, the tabs being at the top. The tabs are down here, so I do actually need to change that graphic. But do you see what I mean by a call to action? Please click the welcome tab for all event details. And then when they click the welcome tab, here is all the event details. Okay, this is all about the actual event. So that's what I mean, yeah, and an attention-grabbing picture, okay, and then a call to action. All right, guys, so that is um, what I want to do with you on this particular video. Just wanted to upload that picture, and so now in the next few videos, we are going to start to go through all of these settings, and I'm going to tell you what each one means. So uh, let's head off to video number eight.